Welcome back guys, and today we're gonna play some Cast Crush. And guys, in today's video, we're we'll using the spam deck together with Spectre. And guys, for those of you that don't know what a spam deck is, it is a deck where you try to get out as many troops as possible on the board, preferably a lot of cheap troops. So, those cards that are perfect for that are for example the Skeleton Swarm and the Orchard Tribe. What you really need to have in a spam deck, at least in my opinion, is the Resurrection, so you can get a lot of troops out, even if they die. So that's pretty much how this deck works, also it's as a spell bait. I use for example the Orchard Tribe. What counter do I really have for that? The perfect counter. You got the arrows. So when I play Stone Skeleton or Orchard Tribe, my opponent uses arrows and then I use Resurrection. And most players don't really have that many defensive spells. They might have one arrow, one inferno, and some splash damage really to counter this deck. And that's about it. So we can continuously get a lot of troops out, and your opponent really can't keep up with that. We also got the skulking in this deck. It works kind of like a tank. As well as a will place down skeletons on all the lanes. So really keeping up the pressure for our opponent and you really have to focus on all the lanes. We get the Spectre, that's really good to have in the spam decks because we'll have a lot of cheap troops on the board. And let's see here. Yes, the Spectre will get plus 38 or plus 28 attack and plus 117 health per troop that's on the board. And let's say for example the Skeleton Swarm. The Skeleton Swarm consists of 7 skeletons. So that's plus or times 7. And the Orchard Tribe, it consists of 6 archers. So by using those two cards, we got 13 troops on the board. So we can get a really big Spectre just by doing that. We got some defensive spells. We got 2 arrows, we got 1 Inferno, and we got 1 Lightning. The Lightning is really good to take care of, for example, the Executioner, Black Knight, troops like that. We also got the mana ritual or the extra crystal. So we can get that crystal advantage so we can get our troops out as fast as possible. But guys, that's it with this deck. We also got some chests here that we can open, so let's do that. We get one free chest, one silver chest, and one great chest. So here is the silver chest, we got one rare, one common, let's open that quick. We got nothing special there, silver chest. We got one epic in the chest. Pretty good, let's see which one it is. We got one yester, we need four more to upgrade that to level four, I believe. So that's really good. Guys, let's open the great chest. Let's hope for some really good cards now. We don't get an epic or legendary, but we got one common, one rare. Let's check out the common. 210 triplets. I don't really use that card, so I'm not too happy about that, but it's never wrong. Can't really complain. Guys, let's check out the rare. We got extra crystal. We need 20 more to upgrade that to level 7. But guys, let's do some battles. I pretty much rambled on for some time now. So we got our first opponent here, can we get lucky with our hand? We don't have any crystals, we get Skull King. Just going to remove that as soon as I can. Don't really need a 10 mana card now early on. We also got double arrows. It's not wrong to get or have a lot of defensive spells, but I don't really like that. Because you really want to go as offensive as you can with this deck. Go to skeletons, I'm probably going to lightning that 8 pirate. Pretty unlucky there with his metamorph. The possibility was definitely that it was going to be a skeleton. Because we had 7 skeletons on the board and he had 1 8 pirate. See, arrows, and now we're going to use resurrection. So even more skeletons. He's going to use a meteor on that. Maybe not the best, but it did hit our castle as well. Look at these guys, we're going to go skeletons. 
I might use the Spectre. I'm gonna use Spectre. Maybe not the best Spectre there on my side. Let's see, now we're going to use Inferno. Can I get that Resurrection? Come on. Maybe not the best, but decent. That's a double arrow. Took out Executioner. To Crystal Crystal. And Altars. Need to take out that A Pirate. We got that, great. And a second one, come on now. Oh, it's so low HP. But look at the Spectre, guys, we've got a plus 12 Spectre. Guess he got arrows, he's going to use arrows, going to use that, we're going to use the Resurrection. And our Spectre almost took out the Black Knight. Too late with the heal, too bad for you guys. Or too bad for our opponent, sadly. We're going to use that, then we're going to use Resurrection, I guess. So, Restriction. Look at how many troops we got on the board, guys. We went to Lightning A Pirate. We to go Altars in the back. If we could get a Spectre now, that would be insane. We we'll to use Inferno. No Spectre. Lightning. Let's see if we can stop this, I don't think he can. And we'll get the win. I think that if you want to go even more offense with the Spectre and less defense, you could just uh, remove one arrow for one Spectre. I think that could work out pretty well. So let's see, we got Crystal, just going to use that early on. Let's see what our opponent got. Rush deck, probably. Yep. We need to use the arrows as soon as his troops get in range. Pretty much all that we can do, so arrows and that. Something that would be great right now is the Skeleton Swarm. It does seem like we're that lucky. So, now we got really lucky here with the arrows and that's really why you want to have those arrows. So maybe it's not that good of a choice to remove one arrow for the Spectre, but that's all how we like to play. Let's use Spectre. Pretty decent one, we got plus 11. We'll use more skeletons. And we've got two resurrection if he's going to do something against that. But I don't think rush decks, or most rush decks, actually got something like arrows in, or inferno. So let's see, come on now. I was hoping for a Spectre here, but we're, we're not that lucky. Super easy win, guys. We got that. So, so far, going very well for us. One more crystal, that's good. We've got 5 mana so we can use our Skeleton Swarm against this warrior. Just gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna use that and maybe it not, wasn't that good of a choice. Let's see, can we take out the Phoenix? No. The Phoenix is not that much of a threat right now. It's when it's reborn that that's when it's a threat, pretty much. Because when it's reborn for the first time, we have to double it health and double its attack. So that's something to think about. So, next round here, we can use the Skull King. So, going to do that. Perfect Skull King timing, so his Metamorph transformed into a Skeleton. 
Oops, and now Orch Tribe. Got the Lightning, the Orch Queen. And Skeletons on the Orc Warrior. I don't think those Orchers were enough. Going to use Spectre. Plus 12, that's good. Going to use Skeletons there. I don't really know why he used that Metamorph, really. It's Lightning the Skull thing. And Arrow, why not? Look at those Skeletons and in the mid lane. We got 4 Resurrection, that's insane, let's use it. Just going to use one more. We got enough. So Crystals. That and Inferno. That and probably Spectre. We got this Phoenix, that's good. Plus 16 Spectre. Trying his best to stop us, I don't think he can. This is a pretty good deck, honestly. Let's just use one arrow. Don't need that. And Arch Tribe. One more arrow. We'll get the win. So, so far all the wins guys. We're going to go one more battle. And hopefully we can get a win this time as well. And this is a no legendary deck, so probably most of you can use this deck. Let's see what spell we should throw away. It's going to throw away lightning. Just in time. I'm probably going to use arrows and an inferno on the phoenix. So, arrows. Then wait a bit, Inferno. Now we need our skeletons for his skeleton swarm. So, come on, now, skeletons. And I'm going to use probably Orchard Tribe to figure out which sham is the real one here. We found it. So let's wait a bit and use skeleton swarm. He's going to use Spectre. Plus 12, that's good. He's going to use the Black Witch, well played by him. He's going to use Resurrection. And Archers in the back. And then Skeleton Swarm. Or Inferno, let's Inferno. We took out this Phoenix, guys. Insane. Come on now, Phoenix. We we'll use Archers. Or Skeletons there. We're going to Lightning his Dragon. We got a lot of Splash Damage there. Not really much we can do. Oh, this will be a slaughter for sure. Look at those little Skeletons and Archers in the middle lane. What can we do now to stop this? We can use arrows against one of those dragons. I don't think we can stop this push. Well played by him. Well played. We're going to wait a bit, we're going to try. So that... No way. But well played by him, he had a perfect counter for this day. But guys, this is it for today's video. And guys, I will see you next time.